Hey everyone, this is Scott. This is day number seven. Wow, seven days already of the 30-day YouTube challenge that I issued out to uh, Andrew P. Smith and Greg Root. Uh, today's video is actually going to be on Google Photos versus Google Drive. There's a ton of misconception and some misinformation, so to speak, out there of what one does versus the other. So I drew a, a fancy little picture here of Photos and Drive and kind of the middle Venn diagram of well, they kind of do the same things. What's really the biggest difference? So this video is actually going to kind of take a crack at what they do. So I actually kind of want to get to a table that I created, uh, went to the Google help forums out there and basically pulled up this information. So three nice, neat uh, tables right here in front of me. You have photo, both and drive. So essentially what does photo photos do is uh, is on the left side there. Uh, what they both do is there in the middle, and what Drive does is there on the right. So what you can see with Google Photos is that it actually uh, you can edit photos, and that's where you make that magic happen, so to speak. Your animations, um, your albums, and things of that nature, just like that second row talks about, you can make albums um, in Google Photos. And thank you for Google now to actually popping up there on my other device. Thanks, Google, for linking everything together. Also, another thing that Google Photos does is uh, it you can search people, dates, places, and things uh, within the app or online as well. Uh, and another nice little feature, and I'm going to talk about this just for a moment because it's the last row for Photos and Drive. You can upload using high quality, which means unlimited storage for Google Photos or you can actually upload directly to the drive, which counts against your storage space. So um, be very clear with this very next comment. The only way you can actually utilize the unlimited storage of your photos with Google is to use the Google Photos app. You can actually do that, I'm gonna show you right here by going to your Photos app, uh, go back here and swipe in from the left side there, look at all my pictures, I'm sure that's not creepy at all. Go to settings, uh, up there at the top, you can see backup and sync. And underneath, it says backup storage upload size. This is actually where you will choose that whole unlimited versus high quality. This is the only way you can take full advantage of all of those different uh, or all of that unlimited storage as it relates to pictures. You can upload directly to Google Drive, but it will actually count against your storage space, which makes a lot of sense. So one of the things I actually like to be very clear about as well is Google Photos doesn't actually store uh, your photos and pictures, so to speak. Google Drive does. They actually work in tandem with each other. Um, in Google Drive, you can go to settings and turn on an option that says automatically put a Google Photos folder in my drive. And I'll actually show you that here if I go to Drive. And it's taking its sweet time. You can actually see right here in the top row, almost all the way to the right, it says Google Fo uh, Google Photos. And you can see all the photos that I've taken separated by year and things of that nature. So uh, that is actually a folder. You can go and do that again. That's settings. Uh, you swipe in from the left side within your Google Drive and you have that ability to do that. Uh, so roundabout, think of Google Drive as a hard drive in your computer and Google Photos, the app, is kind of that UI, that user interface that you actually work with going out to your drive, taking the pictures, editing in and putting it back there. Uh, one thing I do want to talk about in terms of the editing pictures, if you edit a picture in your Google Photos app, it will then be re-uploaded as a brand new picture. You're not actually editing the original. You're going to be basically uploading a brand new copy uh, just with whatever edits you may have made. So I'm gonna go back over to our table here that we have in Google Docs and talk about uh, what does Drive do? Well, uh, one thing that Google Drive does that Google Photos doesn't do is they have the ability to make folders. So another kind of misconception between Google Photos and Google Drive is that if I make a folder in Drive, does that mean I make an album in Google Photos? The answer is no. You're essentially creating a virtual photo album uh, by basically making that in Google Photos, but in Google Drive, you actually have, you have the ability to organize your folders in a way and put the photos in those folders however you may deem fit, 
but that does not mean that you actually make an album. If you want to create an album to share with whomever in the world, you have to do that through Google Photos. Um, one other piece that I actually want to go ahead and talk about is the deletion of pictures because right there in the middle you see that they both have the ability to delete pictures. The only way you can delete pictures using either photos or drive is to delete them individually. There is a multi-select tool available, but to delete them individually using either app. If you are in Google Drive, you do not have the ability to delete full folders of photos because Google has protection in place to basically say, um, I don't want to accidentally delete a folder, but you can delete individual photos until your heart is content. So that is the delete option there. And again, they sync across uh, the platforms. Essentially, if you put a photo in Google Drive, it will then be recognized within the Google Photos app. And likewise, if you put one in Photos, it will move its way over to Google Drive. So then I talked about uploading, I talked about deleting, and I talked about syncing. I think that's actually everything that I wanted to talk about today. If you do have any questions as it relates to Google Photos, um, I will, I'm actually a rising star in their community. I will leave the description below for that community. You can put a, a response or a comment in there. I will do my best to answer it. As always, like, share, subscribe. Again, day number seven, getting a little bit better at this. Um, it's, this one was a little bit more difficult because it was a little bit more involved between multiple screens and trying to show you things while also thinking on the fly. But like I said, we'll get better and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.